Are you sleeping with both these dudes? No, no. I'm a pro. I've gone like a year without having recently. Let's play a little game of build a man. Start with looks. 6'6", six, six, okay. thick thighs, thick, thick wallet. Oh, I'm sorry. You said 6'6"? Six, six? You know what you kind of look like? Okay, here we go. Have you ever played Club Penguin? <laughs> you don't see it? All right, everybody. Welcome back to the On The Rocks podcast. I'm here with Jacqueline Romano. Thanks for coming today. Uh, for those that do know not know, know, Jacqueline was just on Love Undercover which is a dating show that follows five current or former professional soccer players from around the world as they mask their identities in the hopes of falling in love with an American girl who isn't after their fame or fortune. How do you feel about how that description matches the actual reality of the show? I mean, when you watch a show, you can see what guys are genuine and looking for love and what guys are just kind of playing the field. How hard was it to like actually hop on a show like that not knowing, like that's pretty important to like know who you're, you're about to potentially fall in love with, like knowing what they actually do. What did they tell you before that? About what part? About the show. Like what they, did you think they were going into? Oh, they just were like, hi, we're casting you for a show. You're going to go date rich international men. You'll have your pick. There's not going to be drama. There's not going to be a lot of other women. It's all your choice. You're going to go there and just like meet these rich foreign guys and like maybe go to their country. So they did say they're rich. Yes, they said they were wealthy and successful. That's important. It's important. Yeah, I was like, oh my god, sign me up. Per. Right, because you're not gonna, you're not, per. you're not gonna <laughs> leave your job to then go talk yeah. to these like. Yeah, I mean, this was last June, and June's like one of my busiest months at my business. So I was like, all right, if I'm giving this up, yeah. I get it. Better get some return. And what is fall in love? Right. What is your business? I own a fitness studio mm -hmm. right on Seattle Boulevard, and I also own a bikini company called Bikinis by Jacqueline. What started first? My gym. Really? Yeah, I started fitness influencing in like 2017 and hit the nail on the head like the perfect time. Started selling fitness plans from my college dorm, made six figures with no overhead. And I was like, it's time to open a gym. I need some write-offs. And uh, that happened about four years. During COVID, I opened my gym in no 2020. Shit. This was right out of college? Right out of college. I graduated college early to do this. Wow. What was your secret to making so much money as a fitness influencer? Be hot. Correct. See that out there, guys? Yeah. It's not that hard. Just be hot and blonde. Yeah. And be a girl. Hot and blonde. Girl. Have a little bit of a brain. You do have a brain. You are, like, online and, like, your character on the show is, like, bitch is the wrong word. I would never call you a bitch. But, like, you're a little <laughs> bit aggressive and, like, you're from Jersey and you got some attitude to you. Yeah. But you're actually a very nice and funny girl. No, I know. I think, like, I have a hard exterior, but I'm a bad bitch. But I'm really nice. I can be nice. I'm a bad bitch. Well, <laughs> on the show, I saw you guys, you walk in and you see five, like, what is it? Like, supposed to be Tinder-esque They're profiles. like poster boards. Yeah, like hinge profiles. Okay, let me ask you. If you never met me and you saw my Tinder profile, what is your first reaction? Well, what's your caption? You've seen my Instagram. Oh, man, what's my caption? Yeah, yeah, like your bio or whatever. Oh, holy shit. Uh, for the record, I've never had, I've never been on a dating app, so I've never done one of these. You don't have to lie. I swear to God. Swear. I hold Grindr. myself. I said, <laughs> no, but really, I've never been on one of them, and I hold myself to that. I'm pretty. That's proud. actually impressive. I give you yeah, credit. Yeah, girls like that one. Um, no, I don't know. My 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 title would probably be some like. I feel like yours would be like. <laughs> you can make one for me. Like, um, short king spring. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I have a hot dad. <laughs> I, I would probably have to go into the dad thing. Be like, I just, yeah, you have to use your dad. It's I just the best thing dad. about you. Yeah, I, I get that. Yeah, thank you. I, <laughs> I'd probably say something like that. Like, yeah. I just film drinks with my dad, and that's my job. Yeah, like, daddy. I'm a daddy's guy, maybe, something like that. Daddy's little boy. I'm daddy's little boy, and then I put this hat on. So go ahead, profile me. Um, what do you want me to say? Like, what go I would ahead. think? As raw as you could be. Well, are you lying about your height? No, I would never lie about my height. Most people on those apps do. Listen, I hate to break it to you guys. If you're under the height of like 5'9", girls know you're short. See, you're, there's no lying about that. Yeah, definitely like if you're under six foot, you're, put, you're already like... You're, you're like, short under six foot? Oh, yeah. <sighs> Man, it's tough out there, guys. Sorry. Joe, how tall are you? Uh, six, one, six, one and a half. Shut up. Yeah, you're a Trojan. Yeah. Damn. All right, continue. Hey. Anyway, go ahead. Profile what am me. I just like profiling you? Like, Based would I swipe? Like, what would I swipe? I don't know. Are your pictures good? Like, are you, you holding a fish? Instagram? You saw my Instagram before you saw by me? Oh no, you seem like a sweet boy. <laughs> <laughs> this is a great idea. Thanks, y'all. Appreciate it. Um, I, I've also never been on a dating app, mm. but 
I don't know. It really depends. I feel like on the caption, like, are you like a simp and you're just like, I'm looking for love, like blah, blah, blah. Or I feel like you're going to give some banter and I feel like I fuck with that. Hell yeah. All right. So you're swiping right. Yeah, that's why I'd give it a try. I give it one date. Let's go. Like ten minutes into the date, if you sucked, I'd be like, I have IBS. <laughs> Yo, if that was your excuse, <laughs> that's the craziest. That's a valid excuse you'd probably leave. Yeah, like as soon as you just start talking about like pooping or something, it's like it's an easy out on the date. Girls, more notes. That's a yeah. That's a good one. Easy way out. Just start talking about like you have a stomach ache, like and be very like descriptive. Yeah. Okay. Good. Good. Turns them off. Yeah, definitely. You get the easy out. For sure. Um, okay. The the whole Tinder idea with the show, mm-hmm. did they match who you thought they were going to be? Like when you actually met them? No. You know, like you base people off pictures and no offense, their pictures were like so bad. They even told us, they were like, yeah, they, they grabbed these pictures like right when we landed out of like a 12 hour flight to America. They were just like, oh, just stand there casually, like sniped a picture of them, like all greasy and shit. No way. And, um, and yeah. You were pretty harsh. I mean, I'm truthful. I'm honest. I love a good roast if you can handle it. I think that's the issue. A lot of the guys like from Europe aren't used to the Jersey, the Jersey attitude. Oh yeah, there. yeah. Being from Jersey, like I think I killed these men. But by the end, they they do love me. They love a girl who's a little crazy. Who you doesn't? So. I, w- I mean, uh, but I'm used to it. You know what I mean? Like we're from around the area. We actually get the opposite effect, and we see like nice girls. We're yeah. Like, Whoa. Yeah, yeah. I feel like no one from Jersey likes a nice girl or a nice guy. Well, because we're used to it all the time. All we get, all we all we have yeah. to deal with at the bar. Are girls ridiculing you? Yeah, like crazy, just like roasting all the time. Which is kind of funny. I love it. I think it's cute. It is. But like you got to be able to, like you said, you got to be confident in yourself to mm-hmm. be like, all right, it's just a joke. Yes. And she's also like vetting you out. Yeah. She's seeing how you can take it. Yeah. If you can't take it, then it's never going to work. Yeah. How would you profile Joe over there? Our sound guy. Joe, say hi. Hi. Joe's super. I wish <laughs> they would show Joe. I know. They're because- going to. I'm going to. Don't worry. I'm going to pop Joe up. Joe's a Trojan. Yo, and Joe's a Trojan. Six one, long hair, yep. nice smile. I always say a Trojan, like you, I always do it. I go to a bar, you walk in a bar, you scan the room. First thing you're looking for is height. Fuck. And then, you know, you see that, you see, is he shy? Is he have his posture down? Is he, <laughs> is he the man of the room or his shoulders back? Is he a Trojan? You give like right in the middle, like you're a little shy, but you still have confidence. Okay, but did you end up liking this dude, Sebastian? Were you right about his, his um, uh, persona? I think he's really good looking, but the more we talked, well, actually, all he did was talk. Um, I don't know. It just, like, wasn't a vibe. He's not my usual type. Well, what is your type? A Trojan. Okay. You've used, the word, <laughs> you've used the word five times now. Please explain to the audience what a Trojan is. I just said it. It's a Trojan. is like you walk into a room. It's a guy who's he's tall. He's strong. He's broad. He's manly. He takes over the room. He's probably got a fat wallet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, my type's a Trojan. I've never heard that term being used ever. I just made it up. Did you? Do your yeah. friends use, that, use the term? Or just oh, yeah. That? I mean, every girl from Jersey, I feel like we're, really? we're stepping out on Trojans. Interesting. Okay, so let's let's play a little game of build a man. Like you can you can build your perfect human to date. Start with start with looks. We'll go okay. superficial first. Um, light eyes. Okay. Dark long hair. Okay. Six six perfect. or above. <laughs> um, like arms so large that I could climb it like a koala. Okay. Thick thighs. Okay. Thick dick. Thick wallet. Thick. I'm sorry. You said six six. Yeah, and above. And above. Yeah, yeah, sure. Have you dated a man over six six? Of course. That's the size of that 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 door right there. I know. Isn't it so hot? I don't know. I've never seen a man that's the size of that what? door. You know how rare it is to be six six. That's like point oh oh one percent of humans. Really? Yeah. I love that. I mean, I don't blame you. I'm looking for someone like I feel like. You know, you're going to reproduce. Like, you want someone with superior genetics. For sure, yeah. I'm looking for that. It's like that, that song that girl made up. It's like 6'5". Like, oh, bl- trust blue eyes. Six six five. Five. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I need to make my own version of that. You should. Six, like a six. Jersey version. I'm looking we for should a man do that. Right now, should we make it up? Fuck. I can't be saying 6'6". <laughs> six, six, I've seen one where it's like, I'm looking for a guy who's 5'6". Like, Guido. <laughs> Hell yeah, let's go, baby. I'm not it's five, just six. like literally you. It's like John Ronnie. I'm 5'7", yo, damn. Oh, holy shit one inch off fuck every inch matters um, mm-hmm. okay so we got we got the build 
He's about six six, light eyes, long hair. You're literally describing a superhuman. But okay, we'll move. <laughs> we'll move past that part. What is his personality like? Funny. Okay. You have to make me laugh. Mm. Um, I want you to literally hate everyone. Like when people look at you, they're like, eh, "I'm scared of him," but like only nice to me. That's a really. That's a good one because I feel like a lot of girls sometimes go back and forth. Like they. Some want the guy that's nice to everybody in the mm-hmm. room, and then other girls want the dude that's like, yeah, bag off me. I only like my girl. Yeah, I want everyone to be like, does he hate me? And I'm like, maybe. Really? Yeah, yeah. Like black cat as fuck. Not Why? a golden retriever. You don't like golden retriever guys? I don't know. I feel like my dad's very golden retriever, so maybe that's what I need. But like, what I think I want is someone who just is like, fucking hates everyone except for me. Have you dated that before? Oh yeah. How'd that work out? Hmm. It was good for a while until it wasn't. <laughs> Interesting how that works out. Okay. Uh, anyway, so we need black cat, six six, long hair, jacked up. Um, yeah. What does he do for a living? Oh, I don't. Uh, I don't care as long as he's rich as fuck. <laughs> you don't. Okay. What's rich as fuck for you? Like um, like a millionaire. Okay, so he's making a million. A million. Yeah. He's making a million a year. Millie. So, do you date athletes? Because you're describing an athlete right now. Um, I have, but not anymore. How'd that work out? Oh, crippling. Huh, interesting again. Okay. Uh, <laughs> maybe we should reevaluate your uh, your type in men. I don't know. Maybe I should try something new. Are you single? Yeah. Whoa. All right, podcast is over, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, we're gonna <laughs> we'll see you drinks. next week. Yeah, we'll see you next week. Bye. I'll be living here by then. <laughs> Hell yeah, you're in. Um, it, okay, so you, you built this perfect man. If you could strip off one of those things that's like the least important, what would it be? Mm. Or maybe reverse it. What does he have to have? What are the non-negotiables for you? A good personality, like you have to be funny. I don't care how good looking you are. If you're not like funny and keep me entertained and like on my toes, then like I don't really care what you look like. Mm. Personality, it's at the end of the day, we're going to get old and ugly as fuck. So like you better make me laugh. Yeah. Okay. So if he's not 6'6", six, six, but he's a personality. I feel like you're like taking a questionnaire and you're like, what can I change about what myself by do? tomorrow morning? Okay. Well, I can't grow. So yeah. that's that one off. Surgery. And- Funny. Uh, okay. Maybe a little bit. Uh, <laughs> okay. Cool. No, again, I, I, I just like to dissect women and how they look at men for partners. Yeah. And it's always interesting talking to girls that are single because they always describe what they think their type is. And then I ask them like how to go and like, oh, miserable. Terrible. Yeah, no, it's terrible. Yeah, see, there's definitely room for growth and change, but... In yourself, you're saying. Yeah, yeah, but, you know, I also did go on a reality TV dating show, so clearly my dating is crippling and terrible. What would you change about yourself as a date T? Um, I can come in a bit harsh and strong. What? Whoa. I would never know. I can come in hot. I think I come in almost too hot where people are like, oh my God, you actually are a bitch, but... I'm really nice. Once you like peel those layers off, I'm actually a sweetie. Maybe we'll see. Are you? Do you let guys buy you drinks at the bar? Of course. Do you demand guys buy you drinks at the bar? I mean, I'm not buying a drink, but I, I don't demand it. Are you taking a drink from a man that you have zero interest in? Yeah, sure. Give me the drinks. Mm-hmm. And there's obviously no obligation from that man or from you to entertain that guy. Oh yeah, I mean that's what men are for. <laughs> Are you taking a drink from a girl at the bar? Hell no. Um, would you? It, if she offers it? And you would just take it? Wait, wait, like, wait. You got to set me up. Like, am I sitting at the like bar? Like, you're, you're at a bar and a girl's like, can I buy you a drink? You're not yeah. like, let me buy it. If, wait, oh, I just met her? Or, yeah, like or she came up to you and she's like, can I buy you a drink? If I was into her, I'd probably say, I want. I'd like to buy you one first. Okay, I think that's better. You can buy the second one. If Proud you really, of you. If you really want to. Buy the second one? No, no. Put that away. Don't do, don't do that. I would take a card and say. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And now I bang my card like Yeah. That's and what like, like throw your like yeah. gold Amex or whatever, like platinum card down. Mine's black, it's so weird. But um, hmm. anyway. Uh yeah, I th- the the, the, <laughs> the dynamic at a bar is super interesting because some girls like put on this facade, like they don't want to talk to anybody, and then they get surprised when like dudes don't talk to them at the bar. What do you expect? I don't know. I think like girls go to the bar with like big groups of girls and like it's intimidating and guys are like really shy or like I don't know. Sometimes I think guys are too much of a pussy to like go up to a group of girls and be like, hi, I'm interested in you. Guys don't do that. Do you do that? Hell yeah. You do? Yeah. That's so Trojan of you. Yeah, whatever. Um, so if a, if a dude's pulling you up to you at a bar, what do you want to say? What's, a, what's the perfect first line at the bar? <sighs> I've never met anyone good at a bar. <laughs> that would be my line. <laughs> really? <laughs> if he came up to me and was like, I literally wouldn't even hear him. I'd be like, I never met anyone good at a bar. 
that would be hit. That's his line to you. No, that would be my line back. No matter what he says. Okay. And then like, you see how he responds. Yeah. Okay. Can you handle it? If he caves. And yeah. Yeah. If he's just he's, like, uh, okay, okay. Bye. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. Okay. So you don't have any pickup lines for dudes out there helping us out. No, I think pickup lines are so cringe. Okay. What are you drinking? Oh, I hate that one. I just got that one the other day. What else are you supposed to say? Like I'm at a bar. You're drinking. I don't know. Sometimes I talk shit about your drink choice. Girls like that. Okay, that's cute. Yeah. Unless you're like <laughs> bullying. Like if you come and you're drinking a seltzer and you're like making fun of me for my drink. Like, <laughs> yeah. I like my you got Cosmo. like your martini and you're like. <laughs> <laughs> what a pussy drink over there. <laughs> but sometimes I catch girls drinking wine at the bar and I'm like, that's oh. an odd choice. And yeah, it's like, kind of weird. Well, I'm going light tonight. And then there's a conversation. Okay. You want to hear my advice for dudes? Not that I know anything. I'm fucking single. Yeah, go ahead. Give it to us. I always tell dudes, any guy out there listening. Talk to girl. This is gonna sound. This is gonna sound weird in the beginning. Initial conversation. Talk to that girl as if you're talking to a guy. Make it as informal as possible. Just like you're having a casual conversation. If she's interested, she's gonna let you know by her mannerisms and how she reacts to what you just said. But if you come out like you said with like a crazy weird pickup line, yeah, like, pickup lines are. Gross. Say you're beautiful. Like mm -hmm. your dress is amazing. That now sets the tone for like I got to keep that up the entire conversation. Whereas if we keep it casual. You're making good banter. And then at the end, you want to drop in like, hey, I'm attracted to you. I think it works out a little bit so better. So you want to talk to them like they're your bro? Are you calling her dude? No, 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 no. Yeah, I'm saying dude like, is the worst. I would never call a girl dude unless like I really know her that well. But I would pull up on a, like I'm thinking like, all right, how would I talk to a dude if I was sitting about sitting next to him at the bar? Like, what would I say? I'd probably just be super casual. Like, okay. oh man, that drink was crazy. Or like, that was really good. Or this bartender fucking sucks. Yeah, yeah. I like that one. You know I mean? Make like, fun of someone. Making fun of someone. So you like that. Or yeah, the opposite. Like, like, oh man, this bartender is great. No, that's so boring. And then you're like, oh my God, ew. Yeah. You like making fun of people. I just think it's like, come on, we can all handle a little jokester. Yeah. Where is your go-to spot to pick up men? Is it at the bar? <sighs> Where's my go-to spot? No, it's not at a bar. I don't, I don't know. I don't pick up men. Like I just feel like, which is, pro I know this is my downfall. I fall for the DMs. Yeah. I don't do the dating apps and I don't really go out to bars because I'm not meeting anyone good at bars. So yeah. people slide in and sometimes I entertain it. And most of the time it turns out horrible. Well, but I don't blame you for that. Like where else are you going to meet dudes? Like I think yeah. that's a good, you like, at least you can understand and like establish sort of what their personality is like through DM. I feel like Instagram is almost like a dating profile. Like I can look at you, I can see who you follow. Like yeah. do you follow 300 OnlyFans girls or you just follow like sports that's a big thing. Whoa. Oh my God. As soon as I'm interested in a guy, I go right to their following. And if it's like three blonde bitches or like the top three, I'm like, you're done. Oh no. Immediate I better start, unfollow. I bet following some, some females. Instagram is the best dating app. Yeah. It's Whoa. so serious. It really oh. is. And I kind of like pride myself on not having dating apps. And then mm -hmm. here I am on but fucking. You have, but you, because you have the best one. Yeah. But I feel like you post a lot with your dad. Like if you post a lot of pictures with like your family or like nieces, nephews, like kids, right. like that's a green flag. If you're posting like selfies and shit, I'm like red flag. What, I do what, come across super wholesome on, on, on Instagram. Yeah, you do. You're like family man. Yeah, see, I love that. And yeah. I'm like, gotcha. Oh. <laughs> yeah, no, just kidding. I'm very wholesome. Scared. Oh, no. Um, I feel so, like you have a sister, so that already means you're like sweet. I, I have two, actually. Oh, no way. And I drop that a lot. But I mean that. Like, I, that's a genuine thing when no, I say No, if you girls. have sisters, it's like yeah. you get it at least a little bit. I get it. And then I also like, that's, I think, why it's easier to talk to girls when you have sisters because you know they do like banter. Yeah, yeah. You, you just get a better understanding. Like, you know what a tampon is. Right. Still don't want to talk about tampons. Yeah. But like... Neither do I, but... Uh, well, somebody You know what that. it is. I it's do just... know, yeah. But it's like, it's like some dudes, it's so foreign to them. Or like yeah. just, I think most dudes that don't have... Like, most players out there just don't have sisters in their lives. Like, they don't know... Yeah. It's like, like, on the other end, if I ever saw, like, my sisters getting upset about a dude, like, crying in their bed, I'd be like, I'm gonna kill yeah, this guy. Yeah, yeah. Or like... I don't know. Like, would you, would you treat a girl the same way you would want someone to treat your sister? And it like makes you think a little bit more. You think a little bit more when you have a sister. Oh God. That's the way you have to think. That is definitely how I should be thinking. Yeah. And I do. That, that comes to mind sometimes. You have to. Or like if you have a daughter. Right. But I don't have a daughter. So that's harder. Yeah. Yeah. So I have a we'll mom. stick to the sister. Mom and, and sisters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. Okay. So you don't date. You don't really go out to the bars and dates and date. Give me. So we're talking about DMs, right? Yeah. I want to hear from start to finish, what is like the picture perfect way a guy can pick you up and then end that first date? Walk me through the whole thing. 
Oh, I mean, I'm not too picky about a DM. Obviously, I would like something like funny, like sl- like throw in a picture of me and like make fun of me. I gotta see how. Like, I s- send me my own selfie and be l- and like make fun of me a little bit. Like I think what? that's so. I, that would make me so wet. Wow. <laughs> so make so so a selfie and then make fun of it. Yeah, like send me my own profile picture and just like roast me a little bit. And say what? Like you kind of look dorky here. I don't know. Like. <laughs> Not dirty. You look like shit. <laughs> yeah. This is a terrible picture. Oh, I don't I know. You. I'm scrolling like all the way anything. up to, to our first DM. See who's, who, who DM'd who first. I think I DM'd you. I think I said something funny. Nope. But I go, DM'd go, you. go. I DM'd you. Really? Oh, fuck. You must have said something on your story. I said, this is so sick. Oh, I think it was. I remember. My it was supreme your jersey. I it was rem- my supreme yes. rugby jersey. It was. And I was like, this. that was a genuine DM. I said, this is so sick. He loves my fit. Yeah. Loved it. This is, you said it's such a fine. I'm so hype. I said, I don't even know if that's unisex, but I'd rock that shit. You said it might be a little tight on you. Oh, well, you're already floating. That's crazy. I said, SMH, I'm insulted. You said you can borrow heart. I mean, this is like a layup for me. That's all I wanted to hear. And then a couple weeks later, I'm making a drink with my dad. And you said, can you deliver to Sea Isle? Yes. And I said, I'll think about it. I'm not cheap though. I think these are both real. I think our DMs are like, we should put this on Reddit and like, this is good. And like show people, maybe we should start like a podcast. <laughs> we should pop. We should pop. Where we just like give dating advice, like toxic dating advice. Well, this is actually what we're doing right now. Oh, this happens to be what we're doing. So if this goes really well, you're coming back. Okay. Wow. Yeah. I thought that was really good back and forth banter. That was banter. great banter. Great banter. We could like just review other people. Like they could submit yes. their DMs. Send them in and we'll and put them on a projector. Them. We put them right here on the projector. Like that was terrible. Why would you yeah. ever send it to a girl or Guys, guy? what do you think about that? Joe, how do you feel? Joe, pull up your DMs right now. I want to see some crazy yes. shit. Yes. Can we like Joe, come on. debate some of yours? Joe, come on, bro. Nah. Do you ever slide in <laughs> DMs? No, I, don't, I have zero pictures, zero anything. No. Nah, I think lying. that's so hot. Dan. What's your Instagram? You look me Whoa. up. <laughs> look me up. I've, I've only been telling him to do this idea of a podcast for like six months now. But uh, like, what, it, like, it, took a, it took a pretty girl to tell me yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. You like driving two hours? Yeah. Yeah. Do this every right. week. I, if, it involves, if, it, if it involves like a snack and a drink. You will guarantee get food. We I do promise them food every time they come here. You get food and drink every time. And you pay for it? Hell yeah. Oh my God. I pay them to be here. This They're is a my, hell of a deal. This yeah, is a great gig. I, and we just talk shit about people. <sighs> this is amazing. Yeah. All right. So we're going to do that. If you guys have DMs, please. Somebody I think out we there. can have people like submit. Like I've been seeing TikToks where like girls like put their text on a projector and like have their friends over Yo, and they're like, what too. do you think I should say? <laughs> me too. I love that shit. I think that's just so funny. I think that's so funny. I think we could do that. Cause most of the time it's like boring. Like, Hey, how are you? Like our DMs are like good banter. Yeah. Off the rip too. Yeah, like but that's right away. I mean, you probably experience this too. Stuff like that doesn't take time for me to like have evolve. Like I know off the jump if a if girl can is handle like, it. Yeah, or like the opposite. That's why like sometimes maybe I say things to the girls and like they're like thrown away by it. Then they're not the one. Then I'm just like, all right, that girl clearly can't handle me like joking. Yes, around with yeah. Her. I think it's a handle thing. I can't handle it. Right, or vice versa. Like if a girl came up to me like and says something crazy in the DMs. And I was like, I can handle that. That's good. And I feel like, like you can handle anything. There isn't too many things now that I got roasted by Dua Lipa that I can't handle. I need to watch that fucking right, let's clip. Let's watch that live, guys. We're going to watch me. If you guys I didn't mean, see. <sighs> Dua Lipa. I was on a dating-esque show called Hot and Single. And this okay. is what I was told. Actually, this is pretty interesting. The girl, Steph, um, shout out Steph, reached out to me. and was like, hey, can you submit like a minute video of like your dating life right now? And it I like, was so bad. No, okay, you didn't see it. No. Um, <laughs> I was like, sorry, like, of course, I had like a black eye at the time. I was like, of course, I have this stupid fucking black eye. Like, I'm trying to make this video. This is what I have to say, yada, yada. She's like, oh my God, that's perfect. You're so good at making these videos. Like, you're such a charm. That's what mm. she said. She didn't say that. But then she's like, all right, you're, you're perfect. <laughs> she goes, can you be on my show on Wednesday? I was like, nah, I got a tattoo appointment. She's like, are you sure we have a guest coming? And I was like, nah, I can't do it. She's like, all right, the guest is Dua Lipa. Like, can you do it now? And I was like, fuck. Like, yeah, I'll post I would quit my job for Dua Lipa. So I obviously did it. And the way it's set up, it was like, they're all downstairs ready to go. Like, they're filming already. So you walk in and it was like a 30-minute conversation. They're asking me questions back and forth about my dating life. And I, I thought the show was set up to like find out why I was single and then try to find me like a date or whatever. Oh, okay. That's what I thought, right? Clearly, that's not how the show went. Because it was more so just like picking me apart as to why I was single, Ooh. very like men suck type of thing. Maybe that maybe that's what I just put out to the world. I don't fucking know. But Let me see this. Let me see this right now. Uh, here we go. 
Emily. Were you in person Emily. with Dua Lipa? Who are you, yeah. Emily? Are we compatible? No. What no. are you? <laughs> Libra. All right. Oh, I'm here with. So am John. I. And my co-host, Dua Lipa. Do you reply to girls' stories? Yeah. What do you say? You give like the two choice. eyes. Well, the no. Two eyes lie. Just, like, lie. Appearing in the bushes, just like. <laughs> Do you even see your replies or those are probably off? I see some of them. You do. Really see, guys, there's hope. Keep <laughs> keep DMing her. She's gonna see one of them. Don't. You do kind of look like the popular football player at a school. Yeah, <laughs> black eye, varsity, jacket. Yeah. Is that a good thing or Oh, they it's edit you time. back. It's somebody's they you up. Where do you think is the best place to meet hot people in New York? I've been in this apartment complex for like a year and a half. Most of the people that I meet are like sort of in the building. You're hooking up with people in your apartment I complex. Didn't say I did not say that. Did you hear that? I didn't say That's anything. what I heard. Are you looking for a relationship? I think I am because I see other uh, people out there, like my cousin. He has a girlfriend. And every Sunday, oh, not I the wake cousin. up feeling like, what did I just do? And they wake up feeling great. They go on walks and shit. I'm like, man. Now, when you say, what did I just do? What did you just do? You know? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Terrible. Have you ever You're had a such a whore. The last time I called a girl my girlfriend was high school. And you haven't changed your outfit ever since? <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, don't let me run. I'm sorry. I'm a girl that's like a little bit different, like an artist, like a singer or something. Okay. In 10 you seconds. You tried, you tried. Why should someone date you? I'm pretty genuine. I want to see you become a better version of yourself because you're in my life. That sounds pretentious, but like if I want to just make sure everybody around me is progressing. But due to you. Because of me. Yeah. Oh, I got, God. I got ripped for that. I think that was amazing. It's not over. Simple tattoo on me. Whoa. Oh, you're tatted. Was it painful? This was like 23 hours. So you have man. a lot of free time. <laughs> okay. Um. Wait, that was really good. <sighs> you're definitely like a, a person to remember. At least you weren't like boring and a simp. No, never. But so the comments, it's funny. Like on, on TikTok, obviously more people know me there. So it was like a bunch of dudes like, yo, Johnny drinks. Like he killed it. Yada, yada. Shot a shot with Dua Lipa. On Instagram, it's like her cult following ripping me to shreds. Like this Female's kid's coming for you. peaked in high school. He looks like he sucks. This is why I hate men. Some girl goes, he's mid. I was oh. like, what? I was like, I didn't even ask if I was attractive or not. So that was the, the contrastingly difference between the comment section. But um, You know what I think about the comment section? I saw this the other day on TikTok. No one hot is going to like go on someone's TikTok no. and comment something mean. Hot people don't send hate comments. So, so if that. someone's commenting, they're ugly and that's unfortunate. And if you're about to send a hate comment, look in the mirror. And if you're yeah. hot, don't send that comment. Like I think these things, but I'm not like taking the time to like go to someone's profile, click comment, type something horrible and let it loose for the whole world to see. Can I'm you, not doing can you that. Imagine? Like, I'm I, screenshotting, I'm sending to my sister, my mom, I'm saying like whatever I gotta say. I'm not gonna comment. Right. But your sister or your mom will definitely. Oh, come in back private, of course. I'm roasting. Right. Does your mom also roast with oh, you? Oh yeah, my mom is insane with that. So you get it from her. Yeah, we. You know what we love doing? We like get people and we try to find their like doppelganger, but like in a mean way. That's so mean. Like you know, like Nigel Thornberry kind of looks like Sebastian from my show. Yeah. Doesn't he? I mean, he's a he's a good looking dude, but yeah, I, I can see. He looks like Nigel Thornberry. Like if you look up Nigel Thornberry, <laughs> like they the look no, the so Schnauz much alike. Yeah. 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 Only if like Nigel had tattoos. You know what you kind of look like? Okay, here we go. Um, have you ever played Club Penguin? <laughs> yeah, but there's not one hot dude in Club Penguin. So. They all look the same. He looks like the Club Penguin that's just like the regular black and white Club Penguin. Like if you put your head and the Club Penguin next to each other, a little bit. You don't see it? Yes! That is so you. What about me is Club Penguin? He's so cute. Look how chubby he is. No, hey, no. Hey, you're cute. Hey, sorry, I cute. said you're cute. That's she like a cute. compliment. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Because I waddle? Do I waddle when I walk? A little bit. <laughs> Today you were, because I think you were carrying the iced teas and you were just like. <laughs> <laughs> I have short little legs. Like, <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. I've never had a girl tell me I looked like the plug. Club penguin. What do they usually say you look like? Normally, they like they'll talk a lot of shit to me. Like Conor McGregor, you're giving a little bit as well. I'll take you like wrestler. Like I'll take that more over the club penguin. Fucking okay. penguin. Conor McGregor's cool. Yeah, Conor McGregor vibe. Little wrestler guy. Yeah, I'll take that. Uh, what do girls normally say about me? They normally like you think you're so cool, and I'm like I don't really think I'm that cool. I'm kind of just. I think because you're like you have like a strong personality, people just think you're a dick. Yeah, which is interesting. Like, I thought that's what you would want out of a person. I think that's un unconfident people think it's like. Yeah. And then like, they yeah, they realize like, when I do walks in the bar and he's 
overly confident there's like why why are they why are so confident well insecure people feel like that but huh. confident people like i don't walk into a bar and someone really confident walks in and i'm like ew i'm like that's what you're looking for yeah no like you respect him like that person's confident for whatever reason he's got something going on yeah yeah proud yeah. of them proud okay. of you thank you so much well let's get back to the perfect day scenario so the dm oh, hold on, has hold to on. Be, you don't have a she bullied you you're not gonna bully her back i would never bully a beautiful girl come like on Can't give me your best ganger? shot i would never Come on. I you never. roast me. You seem like you have something. Here's here. Let me give you another piece of advice, Joe. Anytime a girl says roast me, don't do it. Like that's that's the oh, dumbest I, thing I have five you can fall for. Because okay. it never goes well. If do you I have a doppelganger? Her, if you yes. hit her, if you hit her hard, what? Who is it? I, my yeah, arm yeah, is literally. No, I'm, this is a fucking workout. I'm Wait, sweating. What, what was that? What were we doing? It's heavy. Oh. Um, <laughs> like this. There's no doppelganger that I, do I you can't. Think, like, do you think, think I have a doppelganger? People have been saying this, like commenting on my profile lately. Like, I'm trying to think of like an animal you, you look like. An uh, animal? Yeah. That's cute. No, I know. That's what I'm thinking. You have like big eyes, big. You remind me of a monkey. Thank you. Maybe a meerkat. A meerkat. A meerkat. Are you, sure? Are you trying to tell me I'm skinny? Yo. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> that was I'm good, skinny. Joe. Oh, Hell yeah. Oh my God. What a layup, bro. Okay. <laughs> yo, yo. <laughs> Holy so shit. So you think I'm skinny? <laughs> that's amazing joe's fucking funny holy shit you're good you're a good meerkat. you need to get a camera on this guy i trust me i know come on he's too hot he doesn't want to be on camera okay yeah let's hide you from the world meerkat is a great that's a good one you. what do you yeah. think you got anything good yeah Give me some time. Yeah. You know what? You kind of remind me of the guy from the Breakfast Club. Yeah. A little bit. You're good with this. You do this a lot. Do you think so? I don't know his name, but if you throw up a picture. You got the long hair. We'll yeah, like you up. give the vibe. Yeah. You just need a flannel. Yeah. Yes, him, the guy in the back, the bad boy. Yes, mysterious as fuck. Dude, yeah, you are yeah. mysterious. You're so mysterious. The earrings. Miss Joe, earrings Joe is too. very mysterious. Like, you never know how funny and like charismatic Joe is because like, he's so quiet most of the time. But he's he's hilarious. I just don't like talking to people. Why? Yeah, like I walked into this apartment and no one told me their name. I was really like this. All right, I'm gonna sit down on your couch. Well, Joe, the the dude who talked that we're talking about, he was explaining how over there, like at parties and shit, you have to like submit your follower count to get in. Yeah, that drives me nuts. That's insane. I mean, we'd be fine. But like for other people, like that's crazy. (laughs) Yeah, whatever. (laughs) I'm like, this fucking sucks. Like, how many followers do you have? I mean, who's counting at this point? But um, on no. your personal page, not your daddy's page. <laughs> okay, pause. The, hold the fuck on. Those are daddy. both my pages. No, on TikTok we have like two point eight. That's a lot. And then Instagram we have like three twenty. Like that. oh, that's a lot. And then YouTube we have like a one point two. This is kind of like the show, like Love Undercover. Like you just found out <laughs> followers. Partially wet. <laughs> You're like, well, <laughs> Another pause for the episode. Yeah, like please. he's actually famous. Yeah. I have no fucking clue. <laughs> Holy shit. No. But that's, it is funny. Like I have gotten recognized like over the past four years pretty often and 99.9% dudes. I've had one female come up to me. You're in the drink space. Yeah. Guys love that shit. Girls don't. Yeah. Like I don't really care. But it's less about the drinks. Like our page and our brand is more about like the father and son. Yeah. It's cute. Yeah. So you're not following me. You know yeah. I, mean? I feel like my dad definitely brought your page up to me before I found it. Yeah. Well, probably because of the CLST, which yeah. by the way, we're drinking right now. This peach flavor is phenomenal. I got to give a quick shout it, out to- It smells good though. Do you smell it? Yeah. It has like good scent. It does have good scent. These are our new flavors. These are brewed in Lakeland, Florida. It's like way better. That's, that's delicious. Tastes yeah. good. I can sip on these like crazy. And they're natural flavoring, five percenters, so a little stronger than most. Yeah, I like the can. Keep drinking because I want to hang out after this. I, I thought we were gone already. Cool. All right. Yeah. Um, I'll keep drinking. Don't worry. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, where was I? The follower count. Does that matter for you? Do you look for that? No, I care more about like how much money you make than how many followers you have. I'm so glad that you're as honest as you are because I think well, sometimes- I'm honest, but like- People are like, oh my God, you're like on the show. They're like, you're a gold digger. But like, I make my own money. I'm, I I personally will not date someone who makes less money than me. That's here, embarrassing. Okay, here's the thing. Is that, that's a subjective thing though. Like you're just assuming, like you're not going to be like, hey, what's your bank account look like? Oh no, I've done that. I've gone up and been like, send me your W-2 or like send me anything like tax records. I've had guys literally go on their phone and pull up their tax records to prove to me. You're lying. Oh yeah. I mean like I'm fucking with them. I'm not genuinely interested in this man, but I was at the Duva last summer and I literally made this guy like pull up his tax records. How did it look? I mean, it's good. Six figures. Oh, that is good. 
Yeah, for like someone down, you know, at the Duval, it's good. Well, you know, I know it's funny. So my buddies that like live in the complex, whatever, like my good friends, obviously they don't do what I do. They have like sales jobs or whatever, very successful for what they do. Mm -hmm. And I'm always like so out of touch with like the corporate world. And I asked them the question, like, where do you think the bell curve lies for men my age that live in this area? And I thought like 90 to like 150 would be like, you know, the bell curve. And then like, in, like the middle would be like 120. So that's like the like average. I would say like the average in this building. And they- That's nice. That's what I thought. And they think it's a little skewed left. Like the average probably a little bit less than that. Probably. I yeah. mean, you would definitely have to make money to live here. It's really nice. Yeah. But like, would you date a girl in this building? It's a sticky situation. Well, how about so this? Like you screw, you screw over. Everyone in the gym's talking about you. Everyone in the pool is talking about you. This is a community like college. Here's the thing. My cousin, I mentioned it before, mm -hmm. my homeboy, he lives here. His girlfriend now lives here and they're great. They, he sleeps in a room every night. So why does he have his own place? Oh, because he's paying my rent. So don't tell him to leave. Oh, oh sorry. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, don't say that. Don't um, put that in here. Please don't. They, but, but they've been there for a year and it is crazy. Like when they, the problem with dating in the building, what I've seen is it hyper speeds the relationship. Like you go from zero to 100. You went from like two dates to now you're sleeping with each other. Every yeah, day. I hate that. You know what I'm saying? So I don't want to see you every day. Exactly. Now was what they dealt with. Like either she didn't want to see him or he didn't want to see her or vice versa. But it was just like a thing you had to get over. And now they see each other all the time, 24 seven. I could never do that. But they're great. They're oh, fucking that's awesome. Cute. Oh, they're so it's cool. It's working for them. It works for a lot of people. We're just fucked up. Maybe we are. Like, I don't want to see you every day. What are we doing wrong? I well, you know, know what it is? We're independent. Independent, facts, but you're also like, you have something going for you. Like with the whole, not that they don't, but like you have a business to build. Yeah, like I'm busy. Right. I like to stay busy. Yeah, I'm surprised If I want to make time for someone, I'll make time for them. But most of the time, like, I love bed rotting. You know what you that do. is? Just bed like rot? Sitting in a bed. Oh yeah, like you get a couple good snacks, like a good show, and you just like put on your your dad's favorite robe that like he wore like 30 years ago. It's so gross, has like hold of it. You put in your robe, you pretend you're Tony Soprano, you have depression, you get your snacks, and you just like sit in bed and bed rot. Right. Loki, I fucking love that. And I can't have a partner in bed with me when I'm doing that. Yeah, it sounds like you're really busy, actually. <laughs> That's the busiest part of my day. Bed rotting. Yeah. You don't have bed route with anybody else, though. No, no one can. I. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> oh, put it up, put it up. Um, I was like, what? Yeah, you know, I, was to <laughs> I was like, what are you doing over that there? That was crazy, Joe. Um, it worked, didn't it? It did. It no, worked. no one can bed rot with me. That's such an interesting like hobby. Do you tell guys this? Please don't. Like sometimes I feel like occasionally, well, not in a long time, but like a guy will come in my bed and they're like, "Why is there popcorn?" <laughs> Like, oh, there's like snacks in the sheets and I'm like, oh, it's so weird how they got <laughs> I that. I gotta clean that. Oh man, interesting. Do huh. you eat in bed? Hell no. I do nothing in my bed except sleep. Do you eat in bed? My That's bed like is my for, favorite thing. My bed is for sleeping. I don't go in my room unless I'm sleeping. Do you, you're like one of those people who's like, can't wear outside clothes on the bed? I prefer not to like put, like, like your clothes aren't going on my bed. You know what I mean? You're really clean. Are you have OCD or something? No, I wouldn't say I have OCD, but I like to like change my sheets once a week. Oh, that's good. No, that's actually clean. Right. I feel like that's pretty important. I don't think you smell. No, I pride myself on, on not smelling. I shower like three times a day because I'm rolling around with men. Oh. You know, sweaty and Do you have MRSA? Gross. I've never had MRSA. I've had ringworm. Ew. I've had skin funk. Yeah, it's nasty. <laughs> oh, because when you talk Where to me. Where am I looking? Am I looking there? You like looking that way and you're holding You can stare at me as much as you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not Stop looking at me like that. I'm getting nervous. Oh my God. Um, okay, we didn't even get back to the fucking date part. So give me your perfect date. So the guy DMs you. What do you want him to say to initiate, hey, let's go on a date? Like, hey, I'll send you a car. There's a helicopter waiting. Um, this feels crazy. <laughs> Keep going. Pack your favorite stuff for a warm weather trip. You didn't meet this dude yet. Oh. First date. Oh, first date. Um, like shopping, dinner. Shopping. Yeah. Wanna know what's funny? What? I need to shop right now and I was like, she's got a good style. I'd love to like go to the mall and just like shop or like Saks Fifth and just rip some Like where what's good around here? I mean go to the city and shop everywhere. Oh yeah, I'm down for that. There's a big ass Zara too right here. Make your pockets hurt. Oh, you can take my credit card. <laughs> Put that on record. Put that on this it's actually on. Oh my god, do we have a budget? No, normally I don't because like I know you wouldn't be like an idiot with it. Yeah. And you like actually buy things that are reasonable. Yeah. What do you need? I want to hold. I want a whole new wardrobe for the summer. Yeah. Oh my god. Bathing suits, shorts, shirts. Like I just don't have enough right now. Shoes. I actually fuck with Zara, like Me for too. basics, but like shoes, I would like ball out and get some like 
some nice dunks or something. Okay, how about this? For the men out there, where should they be shopping for their clothes? Um, like I said, I think Zara's good. Zara. Zara, like, get some, like, good staple pieces, like, Kith hoodies, I'm a Supreme gal. I don't know, like, something unique. Obviously, mm-hmm. I love, like, get a Louis, like, wallet or some cool shoes. I don't know. Shoot, you're big into shoes. You yeah, I love shoes? shoes. Really? I'm a Dunks girl. You are? I am. Do you notice when dudes have shitty shoes on? Like, at the bar? Oh, yeah, I always look at shoes. See, that's interesting because a lot of guys go to the bar with, like, their shit kickers, and they're like, oh, like, girls don't even look down at my feet. Oh, no, we do. Oh, my God, we look at your feet and your hands immediately. Hands? Hands are huge. Oh, my God. You could tell so much about a guy when you look at their hands, like their fingernails. Like, if it looks well moisturized, you look like you love picking things up and putting them down. Calluses for days. But that's just, I mean, how do I avoid that? I cut my nails. Yeah, I know. They look clean. Yeah, thank you. Too clean. I need a dirty them up. Like, do you know how to fix a tire? Yes. <laughs> like He's what? questioning. He's like, this no. <laughs> like, uh, of you, course. You, you have just, like, what no, is I it have, like? I, you I have AAA or whatever. Has a father, yeah, I have good. changed. I have changed the tire before. Okay. I was in desperate need. It was <laughs> it was way too late at night and I could call AAA. Jack that shit up, took the tire off, put the one back on, and that was it. All right, that's kind of impressive. It's honestly not that hard. Like it, it's one of those things where you can like, read a manual and figure you it out. You can YouTube it. You could YouTube something like that. Or Johnny Drinks makes videos like that. And mm-hmm. we do like father, son, dad advice things. Hey dad, how do you change a tire? Yeah, you could put that up on YouTube. I definitely could. Yeah. Yeah. Funny enough, most of our videos are like fatherly advice things, like how do you tie a tie? What is your idea of a perfect date? I'd love to hear like your dad, what he thinks like a perfect date is compared to like what the new generation, like what we think a good date is. Like your dad's probably like so sweet, like pick her up flowers, like get out, open the door, like Bronx tale style, like lock the door, see if she reaches like that's your dad. Yeah. But like what's, what would you do? Well, it's funny that like I, my dad has like um, shared his story like how he met my mom at college which is great like at oh Rowan. God, college amazing they met at Rowan. like yeah they met at rowan she wasn't into him he was like smitten over her chased her around for so many years and like he was finally over it that's when she started liking him yeah long story short now i love that story. it's amazing cat, yeah. cat what is it cat mouse yeah exactly yeah. and then he would like he would like call her and be like, do you want to listen to, they called it the quiet storm, like the radio station. He'd be like, do you want to come to my dorm and like listen to the quiet storm? And she's like, no weirdo, click. Yeah. I love that. So they told me, like, I just got to be a little creepier with, with the girls. Uh, no. Okay. Well, I guess my perfect date, <sighs> I don't do it a lot. So it, it, this is, this is a good one. Um, I feel like you're the type of guy that you like think you're too good for dating. Not that I'm too good for dating. You're just like, oh, I don't have to do much to, to fuck anymore, which you really don't. Like no one has to, you could literally go up and be like, you're pretty and girls are like, ah! Like, it's not hard anymore. So, like, I could to- totally see why you're like that. It's not. It's way less about that. Like, it's more about my genuine... You think you're really great and you don't want to date someone who isn't, like, on the same level as you. You're putting words in my mouth. I never said oh, that. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> These uh, are my guesses. No, no, no. It's, it's... Like you said, I'm busy. Like, on a Thursday night for me to take time out of my day to go on a date with a girl, you got... I got to at least know, like, you're a cool girl. But again, you don't know that till you start dating girl. So it's like the whole chicken or the egg yeah, thing. Yeah. I guess my perfect date would be, I guess perfect scenario. Like your dream girl. Like what are you going to do? Oh my God, I'm so nervous right now. I, I guess dream girl, I would like to know her like from a friend, like a mutual relationship. Okay. So we got to know each other first. You already knew her. She's a friend. Friend, friend of a friend. friend. Yeah, something like that. Like we got to know each other. Um, she's funny. She can deal with the banter. She makes fun of me. Obviously, she's attracted and attractive. Um, I would say like because I live in this area... First day would have to be on this side of the Hudson. I'm not going to New York City for a first okay, date. Okay, yeah. okay. Um, here's the thing. Like, a walking date, I feel like, is, like, cool to get to know somebody. But, like, where does that go after that? You know what I mean? Like, walk a dog. Like Exactly. That's what I'm saying. So, I, I, I think liquor has to be involved. Some okay, co- I love okay. a nice cocktail. So I love okay, yeah, you are a big cocktail and, guy. Like, big a rooftop cock bar. Guy. Big cocktail guy. Yeah, yep. thank you. Um, bar after that, I think I would prefer... We hang out after, like either at one of our apartments, but like maybe we don't even have to sleep with each other. We're pushing it. We just hang out, I'm saying. That always, that, okay, keep going. I would say that'd be like my, my ideal first date. And then like the next time around, I'd like have to a do cocktail something. and go back to their apartment. No, 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 no. You missed the whole thing. Like it, I went to like a nice cocktail bar, okay. maybe some food. We had a great night. Like it was so much fun. We didn't want it to end. Right. And then Cute. like maybe we came back and then she's like, all right, I gotta go. And then I was like, I'll Uber you. And she's like, it's okay, I got it. I was like, no, I insist. Yeah, you better pay for the Uber. What? And then that's it. And then like the next time we hang out, it's like during the day. Like, we go do some fun shit. Okay, that sounds pretty boring. Okay, where the fuck else do you want to go? I don't know. So, like, it's your dream girl. Like, step it up. What? On my first date? Yeah, if it's your dream girl, 
Where am you I taking? You gotta her? come in hot. Talk to me. What's what's coming in hot? On our I first don't know. Date? Like rent out a restaurant. This isn't rent out a restaurant. Yeah, I've had a guy do it for me. Who? Who was this man that rented out a restaurant? Was it his restaurant? Like, what What are you talking about? Yeah, like, his, like, pizza shop? Like, oh, no! congrats. Sit next to the fucking... <laughs> yeah, like, the like pizza close oven. down the restaurant or, like... I don't know. Like, do something worth, like, mem- like memorable. Here's the thing. I would love to do that for a girl, but, like, if I don't know if she's the one yet, why would I... No, I'm saying it's your dream girl. Like, if Dua Lipa was like, hey, like, I'll go out with you tonight... Or like, oh, do you want to like, do you want to do something tomorrow? You would, you would plan the most extravagant thing ever. Yeah, I'm not like like Dua Lipa wouldn't be my dream girl. Who's your dream girl? What's your type? Oh man! Like, name your celebrity crush. See, like I don't have celebrity crushes as far as like like I can name. Or some, just fucking name someone that I think is like super attractive. Yeah, uh, like you're, you have like one person you think of. What's the girl? Um, you Salma know, you Hayek. know her name. Salma Hayek is, is really attractive. I don't even know who that is. Okay, the girl from uh, she's old. Yeah. No. Who is it? Salma Hayek. She's in um. She's a bunch of boys. Never yeah, heard a of bunch her. Of boys. She's beautiful. She's like the the kind of looks like Sofia Vergara. Yeah, 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 yeah. Vergara. She's a little okay. more spicy. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Megan Fox, spicy, I think, is super yeah. attractive. Okay, you like dark hair. No, nah, I like blondes actually. Ironically, so you so you're lying or you? No, like in person, I happen to like blondes. Oh, she's cute. Yeah, yeah, she's in a bunch of movies. I know who you're yeah. talking about spicy. Yeah, yeah but it's so funny because again, in person, I'm more into blondes and I'm less into like exotic Spanish girls. And I just <laughs> so you let us say that. <laughs> no, no, exotic is a nice word. That's a that's a compliment. Exotic. Huh? Exotic. Um, yeah, I guess I would, my I would prefer she's like into fitness. Um, she has good banter. You know. Because I need a funny girl. But, like, not too funny. Like, I don't need every conversation. Because this is actually interesting because you mentioned, like, yeah, like having good chat. At what point is it, like, all right, let's stop fucking around. Right. And, that's, um, I run into that, not that I do it, like, a lot. But I've ran into that problem where I'm like, all I've right, done that. we have good conversation. Like, we're, we're funny. But it's not going anywhere. Where's this going? Because yeah. like, it's hard to then, like, have a serious conversation. Yeah, like, we're just bullying each other. Literally. And then, like, I'll try to say something serious. And they're like, oh, my God, poor you. Yes. Like, get over it. And I'm yes. like, all right, well, I was kind of being serious. And I now do I that. I do that. I'll, like, literally, like, oh, my whole relationship, like, with a person is like all built off banter and then it's like you actually have to talk about your feelings and you're like how Ew. do you do it without laughing yeah like they try to say something serious and i'm like it's weird yeah i don't know i have to find like the perfect balance it's tough out there i think you establish that balance like you think at the beginning yeah you have to have like some serious conversations like yeah. at least one or two serious topics of conversation at the first meeting like what's your passion yeah what do you love to do or like talk about work i feel like that's not like something you can like be joking about it. I mean I could yeah yeah well this job's a joke but that's <laughs> thank you I know I appreciate that but that's exactly like, people be like yeah you you call this work I'm like no not really it's kind of just so fun, fun. it is fun yeah so you okay the the date that you went on with the guy from the show Lloyd yeah would, is that like a good first date you kind of like went out like a it was almost like a walking date but it was like also shopping and food and yeah it was like a little market in LA I think it was like a good concept because yeah. like I am a foodie I love trying new things but we were in like a public space and like it just felt like there's too many people there we couldn't have like a private conversation and I just I could tell he was like really nervous yeah what was up with that he seemed very nervous I like at the time when I'm on the date like I said something about my job and his he, his face got red and he seemed like uninterested. Like I was like, oh, I own a gym and he was faking being a personal trainer. Yeah. So like when I was on the date, I was like, oh, he like, like doesn't fuck with me or something. So then I was like, all right, I'm just gonna be a bitch. Like I said what I do for a living. I'm proud of it. Like I love, love owning my gym. He didn't ask me one question about it. He just was like, got all red and sweaty and I was like ew so I just didn't put any effort into the date after that and that's like our first date sucked I was like yeah it wasn't good like we didn't really like have a spark or anything but watching it back I'm like oh he was red and sweaty and nervous because he was lying about being into yeah. fitness as well I feel like that's a hard setup for that dude though like you're already nervous you're on tv you're reading this girl for the first time and I gotta lie about your entire like I'm the worst liar in the world if I had to be like yeah, yeah I work construction and then like you asked me about my job and like that's a hard and now I think you turned off forever. Like you can you can yeah. now find out, but you're still a little bit I don't know. Building a relationship off lies like that is like it never starts in a good term because you're just like like I would try to talk to him about like fitness and stuff and he would just like you know, I should have known something was off, but he's not nervous in real life. He's actually like very Always calm, not. cool, collected, he's funny, he's got great banter. 
on the show, I think he was just like really nervous. Yeah. I mean, the dude's a fucking stud. Like how nervous oh can God, he be? God, he's a stallion. Look at the fucking kid. Trojan, he's stallion. A tro- he's a Trojan. He's a Trojan. Dude. Yeah. Soccer player. Good yeah. looking dude. Good looking guy. He's funny. What else, you, what else could you ask for? Is he single still? Oh, um, well, you can't say. I can't say. You'll have to watch the show maybe, and find maybe, out. Maybe you're, maybe you're dating him at this point. You, I might have a boyfriend. Holy <laughs> shit. I hope not. Um, so that day is your first. Do you go on a second date with him or no? Yeah, we go on more dates. I got to keep watching. Yep. I got to go back and forth Do they with get Lloyd. Then I'm with Sebastian for a little bit. Maybe I switch, change my mind. How do you feel about Sebastian? <sighs> I mean... I don't feel. Oh, agnostic. Yeah. No feel. <laughs> and he called you an asshole. Yeah, he called me. He, well, he said I was acting like an asshole, which to me is your, uh, just calling me an asshole. Yeah. Uh, that doesn't turn me on. That doesn't do it for me. Yeah. I don't. Unless think I was would... actually being an asshole and then I'd be like, yeah. How do you feel when guys are direct with you like that? Like if you were being, I don't know, me. Oh, call me out. No one ever calls me out. Like if a guy calls me out, I'm like, yes, but... But name calling is not the right way. No, name calling is never it. I don't know if that's that was like a Jersey thing, but like I hate the word asshole. I don't know why it like triggered something in me. I was like, girls yeah. around here hate that word and the B word and the C word. I hate the C word. No, the that C word, word. I, that was never. I don't even say that right I now. I don't like no. the C word. No, that can't do I'd it. rather you, you can call me a bitch. Like, are oh, you being a bitch? I'd be like, huh. <laughs> yeah, no. But like asshole and the C word. The C word is like you can't. Come back from the that. C word just feels gross coming out of my body. It, that's, it's so nasty. Yeah. That's reserved for like the grossest slime yeah. on the earth. But they use it all the time over there. In the UK, the C word is huge. And I didn't know that. And like, yeah. it scares me. What is the worst thing a guy's called you? You're putting me on the spot. I don't know. Probably Sebastian calling me an asshole. I don't know. No one's really ever called me anything. That's like the crazy. worst thing a guy's ever called you? The C word. Oh, you have? Yeah, yeah, of course. Ooh, not of course. Why, why is that of course? I feel like at some point you get into a heated argument, like it comes up. Really? Yeah. Oh my God, I would never call a girl that. I have sisters, I I have sisters though. Yeah, yeah. Okay, what do, we get it. You're a gentleman. Power. Yeah. But I feel like in my younger ages, I'd probably yell at girls, like when I was like 18. I can't imagine you like saying anything. Like, shut up. Certified lover boy. Oh, I have, one, I have a tattoo on my back. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I would never do that. Um, okay. That's, so did that turn you off? Like were you already turned off by him or that was like the last straw? I feel like I was already turned off. Like if I was genuinely interested in someone and we obviously like you get into arguments with people, I would come back around. Like, you know, I've had guys do like decently horrible things to me and I come back around if I'm actually interested, but. Like what? No, I don't know. Like, uh, this one time I was dating this guy and this is a terrible story. We, he flew me to Miami and I got there and he was like, you know, you want a guy who's like got everything together. He's like, oh, like I'll carry your ID. Don't worry about having a credit card. I got everything covered. So I just was like, okay, you can hold my ID. Like I won't have to carry a purse. This is great. We go out, we drunkenly get into an argument and this man like never comes back to our hotel. Like never comes back. Like we got into a fight at like 10 p.m. I woke I stayed up all night because I was like, is he ever going to come home? Like, I'm alone what? in Miami. He didn't come home. The next morning at noon, he shows up. He like went to club space all night. And I literally like once like 11 a.m. hit, I was like, I have to call my dad. I called my dad. I said, yeah, I'm here with a guy and he stole my ID and <laughs> I don't know where he is. He's not answering his phone. I can't fly home. What'd your dad do? But I was like, I'm coming to Miami. And I was like, please. <laughs> oh, you want him to come? No, my God, no. I literally begged my dad not to come. Oh. And then uh, eventually he showed up. He threw my ID and uh, we got back together like a week later. Oh, Romance isn't dead. Romance isn't dead. Always give a second chance. Yeah, he bought me this Cartier bracelet. Oh, so it's worth it. That's so, <laughs> that's so worth it. Yeah, just dump me in Miami, steal my ID. Maybe hey. I have crippling anxiety, a stomach ache. Buy me a Cartier, it's fine. Cartier bracelet. Yeah. Wow. Okay. You mentioned in this show, um, something about like you, you had like an inkling of an idea that there was like something fake. Mm -hmm. How quick was that? Did you know in the beginning? No, not in the beginning. I feel like, you know, the stature of like an athlete, like, you know, the build, you know, their cockiness, like Sebastian, I can see it. Like he was cocky the whole time, but all the other guys like Marco, like everyone was so humble, like humble Kings. So I never was once like thinking they had money or fame or anything. Really? No, never. 
That's, that is interesting because I saw, again, from when you're watching the show, you see like when they're alone and when yes. they're not. And I was saying to you before, like when they're alone. They're wearing their Rolexes. And he's dressing, yeah, his, his like ball mane, his Rolex. Yeah. I'm like, how do you not know this dude does something? Like you said before, like the BDE guys at the bar, you just know they do something yeah. different. How did you not pick up on that when they were just walking in? I don't know if they were like trained really well to just act like basic men, but they were just acting like basic men. That's so interesting. Yeah. I mean, I will say like I wrote off a lot of the guys because I, I'm i 25 or I was 25 during filming and some of the guys were 37 and said they had kids. Like I'm just too young to to fall for someone who already has kids. Like I'm not in that category yet. So I kind of like wrote some of them off. I mean, I was still friends with them, but you know, I, I was like, oh, the... the Slim Pickens. Yeah. What's the oldest you would date? Age range. I don't know. Like I've da- I've dated a guy like who was 40. So how old were you when you were dating this 40 year old man? 24. And it wasn't like, you didn't like run out of things to, because that's like the, oh, that's like the running no, joke. Like see, what do you talk about at dinner? They, they talk to you like you're a little kid. But I feel like, how could they not? You are a little kid to them. No, but I feel like I got my shit together. Like I'm mature for my age, but I still feel like when you date someone who's like significantly older, like they still like talk down to you. Like they're still like trying to give you a life advice or like I tried to dating someone who was like older and he was like sober and all he would talk about was being fucking sober. And I'm like, all right, I don't need the lecture. Shut the fuck up. And then girls are even worse because like they hit 30 and now they're like the most mature women ever. Oh yeah. So like I'm 28, but I dated a girl that was 30 years old. They act like they're scare me. I don't know. Girls in their thirties are like suddenly like, I feel like they're just like extreme feminists. Like they, if you're in your thirties and single, you're like, I don't know. I'm scared to get there. I don't want to get afraid. there. Yeah. I think a lot of them are like, not that, they, not that they walk around scared, but they're like, all right, my clock is Where ticking. Where is he? Where is he? And you run, you reach a point of, it's harsh to say no return, but you do get less desirable as you age. And that sucks to say, but the, but then like you have to it's start, right. You got to start like settling for dudes that had past relationships yeah. or kids or younger guys that are just going to fuck you over. Yeah. People are settling a lot of settling. Yeah. But like, what else are you going to do at that age? I guess be single for the rest of your life. I would. I would like just find like superior genetics to mate with and just, just like, yeah, have a kid. I would do it on my own. I feel like I could. What if he, but he's still a part of your life. You have to like deal with the. No, no, no. Like a sperm donor. Oh. Like you go through a pamphlet and you look for a Trojan sperm and you just like ha- do it on your own. And just have the kid like running around your Jacqueline Fitt studio. Yeah. You're kind of cool. I feel like I could do it. I think you could. Mm-hmm. Mo- most women should probably opt for that versus just going with a shitty man. Because some men should not reproduce. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God, a lot of them lately. Yeah. Lately. Do you want kids? One day, yeah, for sure. Okay, cool. Yeah. How old are you? 28. Yeah, you just said that. Yeah, I did. You're a Libra. I didn't know that. October, I could totally see that. October 6th. I'm the 10th. <gasps> should we celebrate our birthday together this year? Sure. What should we do? A big party. Yeah. Yeah. We'll have it up here. Okay. We'll, bring our, we'll do it on the pool deck. Okay, that sounds fun. We lit. A little BBQ. Yeah. A little Cartier. Okay. Oh, I got to buy you a gift now. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's my birthday. <laughs> the fuck? But it's my birthday too. <laughs> right. What are you buying me? Huh. Air. Air. Your presents. No, actually, I'm a good gift giver. You seem like the type... Again, I was going to say, like, I got to give you your flowers when they're due. You do require and demand a lot from other people and men, but you seem like the type to give it back. And that's oh, why I reciprocate. You deserve it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I bet you I love like gift, gift giving. Giver. Yeah. What's your, what are your, what are those called? Um, oh, I should probably know this. Uh, your attachment styles. What is your love language? Oh, my love language, gift giving. Is it? And um, what are the other ones? Like quality time, gift giving, physical words of touch. affirmation. I'm probably like words of affirmation and gift giving. Over physical touch? Yeah, I mean, I like the physical touch, but like, um, sometimes it can be too much. I don't know. Too much. Here's the thing about that for me. I think physical touch is like, that's the breaking of the barrier between friendship and relationship. Yes, I agree. That's you know a big one. Because mm-hmm. my friends can compliment, old, compliment me all day and vice versa, like even girls. Mm-hmm. But we're not in a relationship because we don't have any sort the of physical, sexual connection. Yeah, yeah we're not touching true. each other. So I think that's like, okay, now this girl's my girl. Yeah, but why can't we have all of them? We could. That's why I, I never understood I hate understood when they're like, what's your love language? And you can only pick one? Like, what the fuck? Why can I only I pick one? I want them all. I want them all too. Yeah. This Libra in us. I think we're single for a reason because yeah. we're so picky. You think that's it? Yeah. I mean, I don't know you that well, but I, f- I think you're like the same vibe as me. Like, you don't want to settle yeah. for someone who's like not great. We're also selfish. Yeah. I love my alone By time. Nature, yeah. I like doing what I want. I don't want to have to explain to anyone what I'm doing, where I'm going, why I'm doing it, who I'm with. 
And also like a guy in your life, I would assume, like it would have to add extreme value. You seem very content and like happy with the way things are oh, going yeah. around. So for a guy to f- potentially fuck that up. No, I agree. I haven't had a boyfriend in five years. Wow. I mean, almost five years. I'm at four years officially. How long was the relationship? Were you dating for a while? Yeah, I dated um, someone from my high school. Like senior year of high school, dated all through I graduated at Rowan. So four years. Really? Yeah. But you've been on dates, no? Yeah, yeah. I've been on dates, but I've never let anyone call, like say I'm their girlfriend. Okay. That's a big deal for me. Is it? Yeah. I mean, that's like a prize. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Are you... Um, that's so interesting. It's just... it's That's going to take you so long to break that bridge again, though. Or like cross that bridge. I know. To find a dude to call your boyfriend. I need like a superior man. Man. Good luck with that. I think I'll find him. I think you, I'm getting close. You, you feel it. Yeah, I feel like it's... I need to chill. You're dating too many guys. Do you, do you date a lot? No, not, not really. really. I'll, I'll like fuck around. Like when you DM me, I'll answer. Okay, don't expose me like that. Oh, like, sorry. DM me, that's really oh, She DMs me too, guys, just so you know. I do. No, I DM her. Fuck around and find out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. Um, how often are you dating at this point? Um, I'll go on like maybe two dates a year. What the fuck are you talking about? Like two I'll date two year? people a year. Like I'll go out and I'll like hang out with someone like two or three times and then I'm like, you're boring. Oh, see, so the way you talk, I would expect you like to be dating multiple really? men. Yeah. Just like the oh, I mean, I always have like eight boyfriends in my back pocket. The roster? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't love the term roster. I definitely used to do that. Like, I'd go on a date with someone Friday and then Saturday. Like, I don't have energy for that anymore. Back it up. You said you'd go on a date one dude Friday, another dude Saturday? Yeah. Are you sleeping with both these dudes? No, no. Oh, you don't give that up easy? No, I'm like, I'm a pro. I've gone like a year without having sex recently. You, you're on Yeah, the, I, did, I was on a celibacy journey. Currently not on this journey. Nope. No. Congratulations. Broke, broke the seal. I'm glad. Just in case anyone was wondering. <laughs> All right. There we go. That's awesome to hear. Woo. How was your celibacy journey? Did you learn anything about yourself? Um, I don't know. Yeah. I think like my standards just got like a lot higher and like mm. the, like as the months were going by, like I was like, all right, six months. I was like, all right, I could do this. And then you get to around the year mark and you're like, I don't want to do it unless it like means something. I don't know if that makes sense. Like, I feel like guys are different. You're like, oh, whatever. A body's a body. But for women, it's different. I feel like you can't have a high body count and you want to be classy. Like, I consider myself like a high class woman. So you can't be out here while and out. Like, I pride myself off guys being like, I can't name one person that has fucked around with you. And I'm like, period. That's very true. And and the women nowadays like pretend to ignore that fact. It's a I can't control that as a fact of life. Men do care. Guys talk. Right. Of course we're gonna care. If, if I'm like, oh, I'm really feeling this girl, my buddy's like, oh man, I know, week, blah, man. blah, blah, like, blah, banger. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And now what do I do? I, I there's no way I feel the same way about that girl. I agree. I'm the same way. How do you feel about that towards men though? Is it the same feeling? Yeah, like if my friend even kissed someone, I don't even think about you twice. Done deal. So we yeah. gotta go through mutuals and see if we've ever yeah, we should. Well, you went to Rowan. I went to Rowan. You definitely banged someone I know. I didn't bang one person at Rowan because I had a boyfriend the whole time. I think I'm not many people. I was commuting. Like, I wasn't really there. Yeah, that's true. The, the people aren't the best there either, so. Yeah, I wasn't really, I wasn't really doing that in college. Ooh, I'm curious. Yeah, we'll, we'll go through our following list Yeah, later. yeah, we got to do that. I think I've seen you, like, comment on some girl's pictures. I'm like, oh, I know the girl. Oh, but, like, you, you banged her, her you knew it. I didn't say that. Okay. Yeah, but we'll find out later. Um, yeah, that's because uh, I think that's the, it's almost the reverse for girls and guys. Like when you go celibate by choice, number one, first of all, if you're on a dry streak, just say you're going celibate. Like make it your, yeah, your, doing your journey. It, because it should be your journey. And every guy should experience a time where like women are not their priority. Yeah. Because you have to focus on yourself once in a while. If all you care about are like checking your DMs and yeah. sleeping with girls, it's a nasty game to play. But I do think it gets like, almost uh, like girls almost become more empowered when they go celibate. Whereas guys, their egos get crushed. Like when I go out, if guys go out and they can't get women, now they feel hope, like they feel worthless. They can't work as hard. They don't go to the gym as hard. Yeah, That's a little bit different than, you know, being, you know, oh, I don't have time for it. But you're making that excuse for yourself. It's like a choice. It's like, am I just not getting bitches or am I choosing to like just yeah. Be on the journey of like not flirting, not putting myself out there. Like you're, you have to cut yourself off. That's sort of my point. Yeah. To really like say, oh, I'm on this journey. You have to like cut it off. Like. So if you feel like you're going down that path, you should probably just go on that journey. Like if you have, if you have a dry streak and you're just not, it's not clicking right now with the women for whatever reason. Maybe something else is going on with your life. Yeah, I feel like guys are like their their like celibacy is 75 hard. 
They're like, yeah. oh, I'm going to dry spell. Well, might as well start 75 hard. Yeah, I'm celibate. Yeah. Yeah. Is that on 75 hard? You can't have sex? No, no, hard? I don't think so. But I feel like that's all guys yeah. are. You know? Yeah, they, they love. Stop drinking and you lose your game. Uh, funny enough, I think that's the opposite. If you can go to, a bar, go to the bar sober, learn how to talk to girls, and then you have game. If you can't talk to girls sober, you can't talk to girls. I feel like a lot of guys can't do anything sober. That's the problem. They like on the balls. It's that, but like go to a bar sober and see if you even like going to the bar. If you don't, don't, then you probably shouldn't be going to bars that often. Yeah. You know what I'm I saying? I do that. I go through these periods where I'm like, I won't go out for like 10 months. Like I live in CI, I live two blocks from the bar and never go out. And then this weekend I'm like, Jacqueline, you're 26 years old. Like go and have fun. I go to the bar. Like it's fun for like 10 minutes. And then I'm like, I'd rather literally be in my bed, like watching a movie and like, or eating good food. Right. It's not like you're like a, like you, you joked about being in the bed rot stage, which I'm yeah. sure is not a joke, but like you do also like to go do things that have like substance and experience yeah. them, you know what I mean That's I, what I love going more. to a bar like sitting at the bar and just like meeting people and having conversation like making connections yeah that's what I like like when I go out in Seattle I'm not making connections I'm like you know nothing good is happening but like if I go to the Reeds you ever been to the Reeds in Stone Harbor you never go down there if yeah. I go to like a classier bar and I meet like an older guy who like owns a business like connections I like building connections when I'm drunk really well, but yeah easier. I'm always thinking about money yeah, you got money in your mind. I got money on my mind. Yeah, that's why we look at the wallets. Fat wallets and fat, whatever, some wrists or fingers. Or dicks. Dicks. Oh, dicks, yes. Yeah, yeah, okay, dicks. Okay, okay, yeah. Do you check that too with the bar? No, I'm not like a fondler. <laughs> I'm, not, yeah, uh, fondler. I'm not sexually assaulting people at the Good. bars. Thank you, I'm, I'm glad. Um, yeah, the whole money thing is interesting because I think a lot of women do care and they just pretend like they don't. I don't know. I think as women get older, they care less. Because people are settling. Remember we said this. Mm. Do you feel like you're caring less now that you get older? No. You care more now? Yeah, I care more. Huh. I feel like every day I'm getting better. I'm on my shit. My cup is full. Yeah. Well, then how did this How did this show change when you noticed or found out these guys were like uber rich? Nothing changed for me. Really? Yeah, I'm super close with all of them. Like I've hung out with Ryan in Miami. I've hung out with Lloyd a bunch. I've talked to Jamie. But then that kind of proves the point that like money doesn't matter as much as you think it does. Like it just because you found out these dudes are rich and famous, yeah. now you're not like overly attracted to to them. No, it's true. I, I don't know. I feel like I've built a friendship with these guys. So it's like, I don't really see them like that. But at the end of the day, they are athletes. You oh, know? that was the question I had. So a lot of girls seem like they got turned off when they found out. Yes. Did that same thing happen to you or no? I don't know. I feel like when he told me that, I just was like laughing. Like I was like, of course you're an athlete. You know, I should have saw it the whole time or like, yeah. You know, I, I ended up in the end of the show with Lloyd and Lloyd had to pick between me and another woman. And when he confessed to both of us that he was a professional athlete, I just was like laughing. Like, I was like, oh, are you basketball? Like, cause he's so tall. I'm like, oh, you're a basketball player. And he's like, no, I play football. And I'm like, oh, soccer. Like, I don't know. It's, that doesn't do much for me. If anything, like yeah. all, the other girls were saying it, like athletes are known to be cheaters. Right. So you don't put up with that. No, I will never put up with that. That's another thing about settling. Like girls sometimes be like, oh, well, he checks off all these boxes. So if like he goes on and cheats once in a while. No, I think a lot of like wags, you know, like girls who date professional athletes, they're yeah. fine with that because I don't know, like I, I the, a girl said it on the show, like I never want to be known as like, oh, that's blah, blah, blah's girlfriend. You don't want, oh, you don't want to be known as like so-and-so. Yeah, wanna like I want to be known as, oh, Jacqueline Romano, like business owner, bad bitch, like does her own thing. It's See, you're, you're dealing with some 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 polarizing. I know. I want a guy here. with power, but at the same time, I, Not as much power I like as you. wearing the. I feel like I don't know. I don't want to wear the pants. Well, you seem like you do. I know. I need to chill. So the you fuck would out. be okay with like if he was your again? You built a man. He's that guy. You wouldn't want to be so and so's girlfriend. I don't know. I feel like if the athlete is like well respected, like. Jason Kelsey, you know, that man's not cheating on his wife. Right. Like, and he respects his wife. He like yeah. hypes her up. She does her own thing. She takes care of the family and he like praises her for that. Like I would date a guy like that. Yeah. But. And he's like, low key Taylor's boyfriend at this point. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Oh, tra are you mean Travis or Jason? No, Jason, not Travis. You wouldn't date Travis? Uh, no. Really? Probably not. He gives off too much of a fuckboy vibe for you. But he's dating Taylor Swift, so. Yeah, good for them. I think that that's yeah. good for them. It is, it's funny how like Jason, but Jason also doesn't look like Travis. Yeah. You know, so it's like a little bit of a different. I know. You just got to give and take. Yeah. I don't know. I couldn't name like a professional athlete. I'd be like, yeah. Because you just know all these bitches are in their DMs. You don't want that. I mean, I don't know. There's guys in my DMs too. But I, I mean, like, would that make you insecure? If you were dating me. I'd be answering your DMs for you. 
What do you mean? I, like, I think it'd be hilarious if we were like... If you like saw someone famous like slide in my DMs, you'd answer them on my phone? That'd be so funny. What do you think about that? If you let me. Really? Yeah, that's funny. If you, like, if, fuck with yeah. them? Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> if... All right, I don't know if I can... Oh, I can't share this. I'll, I'll tell you after. Okay. Um, <laughs> But yeah, like if, if you were, if I was confident in you and you were showing me as like, Luke hit me up and if you were hiding it from me yeah, yeah. and then you were like talking to so-and-so, like Derek Jeter's was like in your shit and I was like, why is Derek DMing you? And yeah. you're like, hey, good morning, babe. Then I'm like, oh shit. Yeah. You no, know, if you're entertaining it yeah, it's without different. telling me, but if it's you came totally out to different. me like, yo, Derek Jeter just DM me, I'd be like, that's fucking sick. I'm a creeper though. Like I feel like if I was dating a professional athlete, I'd be like, can I see your like DMs? Like. Lloyd showed me his DMs since like he's been on the show and I was like laughing. Like it's all women. It's thousands of messages from women and I'm like, is your head big? And he doesn't care. Really? He didn't care. Were they like crazy thirsty? Just like girls asking around and shit? No, I feel like girls are crazy. Like girls are thirsty. They'll DM and be like, hey, are you still in New York? Like hit me up or. Just like send I've, nudes out of nowhere. This guy, I forget who he does, who he is, but he's like verified on Instagram, DM'd me and was like, hey, I have a weird question. I'm like, oh my God, here we go. What is this going to be? He's like, can you help me with my Raya application? Like, can you, what is it called? Like when you like recommend, like, can you put a referral yeah, yeah, yeah. for Raya? And I was like, no, I'm not on there either. Like I applied like a year ago and like, I like I'm on the wait list or whatever. Yeah. And he was like, oh, you have to like email them and be like, cancel my application and start over now that you have like more followers or whatever. Mm -hmm. So I emailed them and I was like, cancel my fucking application. Oh, you, cause you want to get on Raya. Yeah. I mean, I want to. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to ask you, so the, the dating show is one thing. Do you use dating apps now? No, I, I don't have to. I've never done Tinder, Hinge. What, like, I don't even know the other ones. So aside from the show, like where, I guess you're really not finding guys. No, well, I live in Sea Isle full time. So it's like, I know everyone within like a 30 mile radius. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm used to traveling. Like I'll travel. I've traveled to like Nashville to meet a guy. I've traveled. Where's the farthest you've gotten to meet a guy? Well, on the show. <laughs> Obviously, other than the show. Um, I don't know. Like Miami or Nashville. <sighs> did, so we talked about it before, like your attitude, like from the New Jersey culture, did that scare a lot of the guys away? Yeah, I mean, I said it the whole time. Like people are damning me to this day and they're like, you're just too like, I don't know, like I'm rough around the edges. I say how I feel. I think... Yeah. A lot of guys are, I don't know, like even professional athletes, they just want someone who like sits there and like looks good. Like you look good. You're not going to like speak up if they do anything wrong. That's not me. Yeah. If you do something wrong, like I'm going to tell you, you did something wrong. But I feel like guys need that. Like you need someone to like put you in your place. Like that's the whole part of a relationship. If I do something and like you can tell me like, hey, I don't think that was cool. And I can learn from it. And right. that's fine. Guys need that too. And like, I feel like a, a lot of time guys just want like a silencer. Like they just want to like sit there, look pretty, like whatever I say goes and you're just going to be there for it. That's how like a lot of guys are. Yeah. I don't think that's how a lot of the guys on the show were. I think by the end of it, like they loved my attitude. They like, they're not used to girls like, you know, sticking up for themselves or having yeah. a strong opinion. So I think that's why I'm close with them now. Yeah. I, I guess that's like, that there's pros and cons of everything and like being single, maybe that's one of the cons Like you really don't have anybody that's like being crazy honest with you all the time. Like no. maybe your family, which is different, but like yeah. when you have a girlfriend or a boyfriend and they're like, yo, you keep doing this to me. Like this yeah. is a character flaw of mm -hmm. yours. You can either fix it or I'm gone. And yeah. you can decide. Like a lot of times, like we can kind of go behind the curtains and be like, you know, I'm good. Like nobody, I don't have mm -hmm. to change myself for anybody. Yeah. I think they're used to like women just being like people pleasers. Like, yeah. oh, you're rich and famous. You have a big name. Like they just want the clout. They don't actually care about being respected or... Yeah. They're just there for the ride. Not just people, like, uh, not just women, like people though. Like they got yes men all, all over them. Oh yeah. You, know you can, you dudes. can, if you have like power in the media right now, you can basically do anything you want. Yeah. It's pretty crazy. It is wild. Where do you find the best men? Are they in Jersey? I don't know. I don't think they're in Jersey. No. I haven't really dated like outside. Like I said, I had one boyfriend. He was like super Guido. He kind of looks like you. <laughs> That's always a good thing. I love hearing that. You look like Max. Yeah, you look like my ex, but um, yeah, I wish sure. we could insert a clip of his head, but we he could. doesn't. He doesn't like me. We can't do that. <laughs> we can still do it. We can put blur it on, out his head like we a little bit. We can put it on my, on oh my, my on my body. That'd be hilarious. All right, we'll, we'll do that. <laughs> anyway, so it's not from Jersey. No, I don't know. I don't know where the good guys are. What are the issues with the guys from Jersey? Mm, I don't know. I don't know. What do you think? 
feel like Jersey's like a broad spectrum of people. Like so many people are from Jersey of all different like kind, like all different kinds of people. Yeah, to an extent. I I think I'm a very I, I'm very like into familiarity. I like when things are comfortable to me. Mm-hmm. And so like anything outside of this, like if I met a Southern girl, for example, she was so big difference. nice. I'd be like, something's up with this and I'm not used to it. Like I'm used to a big family that's very loud and transparent with how they feel. Be yeah, able to handle loud girl. families. Yeah. Speaking of families, you work with your dad to an extent, no? I mean, kind of, yeah. My dad does the tease with my, my other sisters. They're like, they do the company together. Okay, so you're not really involved with... CIL spike dice tea. I mean, I'm involved to the point where like I promote it whenever I can. Obviously. Like we drank these on the show and oh, um did? yeah, like I help them if they ever need help with things, but I do have my I run like three of my own Instagrams. I got my own yeah. shit going on, but I literally will do anything for them if they ask me. I love that. Does your family and more importantly your dad influence who you date? Mm, I mean, yeah, I feel like my dad's like, I want grandkids. Like, can you hurry the fuck up? But no, I don't know. I think uh, my dad knows that I'm like firing on all cylinders is how he always likes to say it. Yeah. But um, yeah, he, he always tells me like, don't settle. Don't settle. I think right now is like my peak. I think you're right. Um, how, how is he towards men? Like if you brought a guy home? Um, he's actually like really good. I feel like a lot of people think like, oh, Italian dad, like even on the show, like my dad walked in and met Lloyd and they like played this like mobster music. Like he was like, that's so annoying. It's so annoying. Like they were going to like chop my, like my dad was going to chop his legs off or something like, yeah, I did make a a joke about cement shoes, but it's like my dad actually could not hurt a fly. Like he would not be mean to someone if I genuinely liked them and he thought that they treated me well, he'll approve of anyone. doesn't matter. Yeah. It's just like a shitty rep to, to live up to. Like oh, as yeah. a Jersey Italian, like your dad worked really hard to get to where he is. And now I he's know. just like written off as a mob guy. I know. That's not fair. It's so funny. They're like, oh yeah, he, he sold ice. I'm like, no, he literally sold like, ice. Yeah, actually like, he sold ice, which is hilarious. So their family started Sea Isle Ice, which you probably know if you haven't seen it, it just says literally Sea Isle Ice in every gas station ever. Yeah. That's what I grew up with. That's so nuts. Yeah. I mean, it's a great gig. Yeah. Frozen water. People are just jealous they didn't think of it. Like people are always like, oh, it's frozen water. I'm like, you're pissed. You're literally pissed. You're we so just pissed. About, we just said it before. Like the, the, the easiest simple ideas yeah. are always the ones that just crush it. I know. Or like I wish I had like patents on things. I feel like that's like, like you have a patent on like anything, like nails and you're rich for the rest of your life. Oh, like yeah, yeah in the beginning. I mean, bikinis are kind of unique. Oh, no, the clothing industry is so hard. Like don't you sell your sweatshirts and stuff? Yeah, but that's so different. Like, I'm not starting a line. Yeah. It is a pain in the ass, though. It is such a pain in the ass. There's yeah. just so much competition. A lot of competition. Who the, the girl um, on TikTok does these? Oh, Strawberry Milk Mom or whatever. Yeah, they're hilarious. Yeah, she kills it. Those girls are so funny. You know what? Now you can, like, use social media to your favor to, like, bring in more buyers. Like, she's funny. She posts, like, crazy TikToks. Yeah. And it just works. But you do, too. You, you post a you post good content on Instagram. I'm trying. I, I mean, Instagram, I, I like got into like the rhythm. I know what I'm doing yeah. just recently. You know, I'm vlogging. I'm doing like daily vlogs on TikTok and they're kind of like popping off. Oh, they are? Yeah, because I'm just like being myself. And I think people like it. I think people like that too. Let me let me check out your TikTok. Yeah, just you my follow. TikToks recently. Been, we should make a TikTok. I saved so many funny like voice you things. Vo- Yo, we should do. <laughs> I, I definitely have a couple saved. All right, we could do some funny ass. Uh, we should do it. Some voices and shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah I love the voiceover ones. Okay, we'll, we'll think of something. Um, yeah, it's good. What's your, what's your TikTok? Well, that's, um, I like your, I like the videos you do when you have like you and then it's like you again and like you guys kind of like meet up. Oh yeah. Those are sick. How those take hours. Do, how do you do those? I use CapCut and I'll do like the mirroring thing and I'll cut it. So it's like, I have to know exactly what place to stand the timing, you. but those always pop off. They're fun. It takes a long time. Damn, you got n- almost 10,000 followers and you don't follow me. That's. Fo- wait, follow me so I can follow you back. My baba. Follow me first. Let's see if I, you know who, t- just out, just f- let, the, for a let the record show everybody. Jacqueline texted me first. She's never done that to a guy ever. You she forced me to text you first. I know what I'm doing. And it killed my soul. Yeah. But I was like, this is work related. But now I gotcha. I will follow you first. Let's see. Yeah, this is, this is cool stuff. Very nice. Hold on, I'm starting again. Now you're, now you're stuck. That's funny. All right, we're still on a podcast. Put your phone away. Okay. I'm, tra- I'm talking. Do you think you have a phone addiction? Yes. Interesting. How do you, what do you do to solve that? Mm. I'm sorry. I'm it's really, just... that's really profound. You said that. I have to answer my eight boyfriends. Oh, God. You want nine? Huh? Nothing. 
Oh, you want to be number nine? No, that'd be terrible. I can't, can't you think that. if I had like a roster of guys, where do you think you would land? Like number one on the roster is the best, right? Like yeah, I got you. he's the one you want to spend the most time with. Okay, well, listen, I just met you. So if I cracked top four, I'd be very happy. You're giving yourself the, you're giving yourself the spot, though. Yeah, like what are you doing to get to number one? Uh, I mean, there's really not much else you could do other than just be yourself. But so your answer should be number one. <laughs> number oh, I would even, I would have actually, I would climb up to number one, and as soon as I got there, I'd be like, please. You're toxic like yeah, that. Yeah, it's crazy. I love that. I know you do. That's why I oh did. Oh my god. Yeah. Uh, if you, if I listen, if you, were, if you were super honest with me, hey, look, I'm dating like nine dudes right now. Like I love hanging out with you, but I do have to like spread my time out. If Ew. I just met you, I'd Who probably would say that. <laughs> I'm never but telling wait, you that. But wait, I may give you like benefit of the doubt. I'd be like, listen. This is casual for me as well. It you might open... know. You'd be like, you'd see it as a competition. I know how you are. You'd oh, be absolutely. like, I need to be number one. Right. And then I'd be number one. I'd be like, all right, as long as now you dump everybody else, we're good. All right. So since being on the show, would you do a reality TV show again? Yes. You would? I would do another reality TV show. Now I know how it works. Yeah. I would do it again. Why? I don't know about a dating show though. Like the dating is like, I don't know. It depends on the concept, but... Mm-hmm. I would do it again. I think I have like the perfect, you just flared your nostrils. I didn't mean to. I, had to, I, didn't, I swear to God, I didn't mean to. No. <laughs> it like scared me. I had an itch. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> he does that. He's okay. Um, are you going to sneeze? Uh, no, I'm good now. Go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think I have the personality for reality I television. So yeah. You do too though. I see like people say, you, I, I, I can understand why you think that. I don't know. I, maybe you're right. I, I feel like I'd chill up. On I agree show. with her. I'm not that serious. Like I yeah, can't. I know. I think you have like a bubbly personality. If you could do this, you could have 20 cameras looking at you. Yeah. you that I don't care this. about. I just like, like they're so cringy. Like watching you guys date on dating shows, like getting so deep and emotional with girls. Like yeah, but you know what I dudes. realized now that like me as a woman, I've been on a reality TV dating show. Some guys like don't take me seriously. That's what my problem would be. No, but I feel like girls don't care. They're like, oh, he was on a reality show, like clout. Mm-hmm. But but me, I was like talking to this guy the other day and I was like, yeah, I'm going on this podcast because um, I was just on this reality TV dating show. And they're like, yeah, I'm not going to lie. Like, that's cringe. No, I would like meeting you for the first time. I would never write you off because you're on the show. Yeah, but you're like fun and cool. Like, these are like guys who like think they're cool. It's exactly the difference. Maybe yeah. It's, it's vetting out the not cool guys for you. It's great. I'll take it. That's why you're here. Yeah. We okay. love a supportive king. Uh, that's why, yeah, I think we're, we're, but you're also a supportive queen. So mm-hmm. I appreciate you for being here. And now you just landed another, another job. You're the co-host of the On the Rocks Woo! podcast. Congratulations. We might have to like change some of the decor. I need some like pink shit in here. Yeah, well, that's not. All right, you're fired. Yeah, Fuck. Sorry. Maybe like some shelves. You want shelves here? We yeah, shelves but like here. a candle. What would you do differently? Because this is pissing me the fuck off. We have a fake fern in the background. Like this a the, real plant. I put a real This is the main plant. shot. And, and we, this we don't is have our, light. Yeah, it's stupid. Uh, you can know. give us your feedback after. Like I put like. A picture of like Tony Soprano in the back. You love Tony Soprano. Oh, I love him. Yeah. He's yeah. so for me. You know what? He um he shot a scene in my dad's office when he was No there. way. Yeah, we live in Wayne. So he like did the whole North Jersey tour and all that stuff. Yeah. I want to go to his house and like bada bing. You want to go to bada bing? Yeah, for sure. We can go there. Cool. It's horrible, but Still yeah. Open, yeah. Right? yeah, yeah, yeah. It's horrible. We, I pass by it all the yeah. time. Yeah. yeah. I love Sopranos. I have a Sopranos tattoo. Where? On my leg. Show it. Your tattoos are sick, by the way. I do like your red redding tattoos. Can you see it? Oh, that's crazy. It says Italian sausage. Let me see. It's from outside Satriolis. No, I just see bikinis on our clothesline. Do you see it? There's like a pig. Yo, those are sick tattoos. Oh, thank you. Whoa. Just finished my leg. I think I'm done. Yeah, me too. That's what I said. Until it's off my ass. Um, <laughs> so what's next for Jack and Fit? I don't know. I'm kind of just riding this wave right now. I'm having a lot of fun. Nothing like sticks out like you want to do. I mean, obviously, I'm waiting for a call for like another show. You are. Well, I'm hoping. I mean, yeah. that's the whole, the whole, the whole part. Get me on a show with you. I think I could. You think so? I, that's why I keep posting these like TikTok daily vlogs because I'm like hoping someone is like, your life is so entertaining and you're batshit crazy. Let's give you a show. Oh, like your own show? Yeah, my own show, like about my family and like. Life is, I mean, dating. you guys have great history, like the CIL Ice, and you guys oh, yeah. are all together. Like you everyone guys should- loves CIL and the Jersey Shore. Like if Jersey Shore was that iconic of a show, I think like. I can live up to the hype and like put a good name on it. I was thinking that too. You you wouldn't even like need a theme. You can kind of be like a Kardashians esque show. Yeah, because my family's just crazy. <clears throat> right, and you guys all have like different things going on. Yeah, like my dad has his business with my sister. Yeah, my sister's pregnant. I'm trying to date. I'm a psychopath, but I also own a business. Right. 
It just would work really well. I think it would too. I would vouch for that. And then I would Thank also you. be on the show with you. Yeah, yeah. You would definitely be like a top like contestant, special guest. Special guest, saying. yeah. Yeah, yeah. And your dad. Okay. Well, Play my dad, daddy. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we wrap up every podcast asking the guest two questions. Okay. Which is so unirrelevant to what we're talking about right now. But some of these conversations get a little bit deep and like emotional, which this one clearly didn't. Um, so deep. But that's okay. Very um, I'm happy with the way it went. Um, I asked my guests two questions. In your life, it doesn't have to be related to like work or anything specific. What has been the lowest of your lows? And then follow that up with what has been the highest of your highs? Hmm. The lowest of the lows. Let me think. I need a second. Take your time. Oh, I would say the lowest of my low was COVID 2020. I was in a four year relationship. He broke up with me and I tried to open my gym and then COVID happened and I was like, I'm single, I'm miserable, I'm lonely. And now I spent all this money on my gym and I can't even open it. Like I was like, I'm going to fail. But I think like the come up, like the best part was that it actually was one of the best years of my life. Like I actually ended up doing like online Zoom classes with like 500 women. Like I, I kind of like changed the scale of my business to more of like an online demographic. And I would, instead of like opening my studio, which I legally couldn't have done during COVID, I just set up my laptop and I was like, all right, it's $10 a person. Like I'll send you the code. And I was making like thousands of dollars a day, like selling online programs. And that's genuinely what kept my business afloat. Cause I wouldn't have been able to like pay the rent if I didn't have that. Wow. So yeah, COVID, which I thought was going to be the worst year of my life, actually was like one of the best. So I'm assuming that's the high of your high too. Yeah. I mean, it just taught me how to be like adaptive and like not everything's going to be perfect, but you'll find a way to make it work if you want to. Good for you. It's not ironic, but everybody that has mentioned something like this, I would say 80 to 85% of people said that the highest of high came right after yeah. or because of the lowest of lows. I agree. I, I think like life is meant to have these stages where it's like, highs lows like you're climbing the mountain you don't know when you're peaking yeah. like right now could be my peak i don't know but i think you can always find a new peak absolutely yeah well that's great jacket thanks so much for coming on thank that's you that's it for today guys me. like subscribe share any last words where can oh, they wait, find wait, wait. you plug oh plug all your shit okay yeah am i looking at the camera when i say it Look yeah at get a wink too right okay there. oh that was for you. Anyways, you guys can find me on Instagram and TikTok at Jacqueline, J-C-K-L-Y-N, period, fit, F-I-T. And you can also find me and shop my bikinis and my online programs at JacquelineFit.com. That's it. Cheers, everybody.